Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello and welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape on this very snowy day. We hope you're all safe wherever you are. Today I'm joined by my assistant Maddie, and we're going to focus on some movie masterpiece stuff. We have MPM8 Megatron, MPM10 Starscream, and MPM11 Ratchet. Plus at the end, we're going to show a little bonus thing that we're going to do. But what's in the egg? I don't know. You have to stay tuned to the very end. All right. So, Maddie, you said you wanted to open... Well, this one first, right? What did you call him? What's his name? Rita. Rita, yes. We're going to open Rita first. <clears throat> All right. So, so we're going to open Rita first. So the tape, we, we had a little accident before, so we actually did cut the tape on this just a little bit. But this is the Hasbro version of uh, Movie Masterpiece Ratchet. Uh, I got this at Target. I think I paid 150 bucks for this. And then the day after they went on clearance for like 40 bucks so nice so maddie what we don't want to do is stick our fingers in here because that's gonna that's gonna crease the, the flap all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife or a screwdriver and if you break it then it, then it will hurt the well it'll it'll hurt the value right so that way we keep this is the flap we're gonna keep the flap nice and clean all right it looks oh, like this comes in vehicle mode. I don't often like transforming stuff on the show, but um, we're gonna do it. <clears throat> so it has its instructions. Pretty standard instructions. I happen to have another set of instructions here from uh, Studio Series Blur, pretty much the same format, even though this came out a little bit earlier. Uh, all right, so Maddie, we have our Knife. What do, what do we say? What do we do with our knife? We, we cut this way, not toward us. We right. Cut in our right. We cut away from ourselves. We always cut towards our enemy. All right. Not towards ourselves. All right. So I'm going to cut that one. Here, why don't you take the blade? And you're going to cut here without trying to cut the plastic or scratch the plastic. Sometimes you have to come in at an angle. Right now, move it. Move the knife. There you go. Right. We don't want to scratch the character. All right. So we're gonna save these for later. These are very important. Yeah. yeah well, these are super important because a lot of people don't save them. So when they go to resell the figures, it's like, do you have the cut ties? No, you don't. Oh, all right. Well, that's. That's a hundred bucks off. All right, so first thing, it's in vehicle mode, so I'm gonna do the car test. All right, so the car test works. The car test is, will it roll without it scratching anything? And it looks like it does, straight out of the box. It might, eh, it might be scratching this, it's hard to tell. Right, but then it's a lot harder to uh, roll it on the rug, right? Then you don't have to, then you can do this. So, a little story about Ratchet. We were at some BotCon in California, and it's while I was working for Hasbro at the time, and we, Mike Balog and I, I don't know if he's still at Hasbro, him and I were in charge of getting the movie vehicles onto the truck and get them out the door. So the guy loads like four cars. It was like Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Ironhide, and Ratchet. And he puts Ratchet up on the top of the car carrier. 
and he didn't really measure very well as he was coming out of the underground parking deck and he <laughs> smashed the top lights of Ratchet. Of the real car, not the toy. Yep, that's a thing that happened. All right, so let's go ahead and transform it. Is he Bumblebee's cousin? <clears throat> no, he is not Bumblebee's cousin. No, all right. So I like to transform things without instructions for the first time. See how far I get. And this one looks pretty intuitive. That one looks like easy, but it might be hard. Yeah, it looks easy, but it might be hard. Um, just like some people. Yeah, so that means like sometimes I don't do it, and sometimes I do it. I will say I'm not particularly happy about this color. This is very, very yellow. I'm uh, really not digging the yellow on this. I don't really like the yellow either. Oh, you don't? Because it like, looks like it's all yellow, but it's like not because it has some gray, but it, it's like a lot of yellow and, and a little bit of gray. Yep, I, I really was hoping it'd be greener, but it's not. Okay, we don't need this. All right, so we're going to take this. Yeah, I don't even know what this is for. Yeah, that's just garbage. That's just trash. All right, we're going to take this, and we're going to put this like this. All right, and we're going to put his hands out. Where's his face? And, um... Oh, right there. Yep. Yep, there, there's the face. He's so tall. Yep. He looks, and there... He looks shorter than these guys, but... He's actually tall. Yep. And uh, there, there it is. Oh, we got to put his blaster in. Oh yeah. Yep. We got to put his blaster in. And the like shirt. Yep. There's that. We got. Um, <clears throat> what are these? Yeah, we don't need those. All right, and we'll put his blaster on him. All right, there he is. Beautiful. Put, put that on there. There it is. Masterpiece ratchet. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Co color's growing on me a little bit. All right, color's, color's growing on me. I don't really like the color, but, but I like the toy, though. Yeah, color. yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really like the, the color uh, that much either. Yeah, I agree to that. All right, but there it is. Mas Masterpiece Ratchet. Hey, who would have thought we'd have two different Masterpiece Ratchets? We have the G1 version and we got the movie version. So I'm pretty sure this is this is pretty movie accurate. It looks like he's fine. Yeah, yeah, like it does. His That's... neck is falling like this, like a chicken, and then he's flying like a chicken. Yep, yeah. Well, in the movie, he makes chicken noises, too. Oh, my gosh. Yep. What the heck? Yeah, well, something like that. All right, so there, so there we go. Does he make the same noise as our chickens? Yeah, no, he doesn't make the same noise as our chickens. Like alpha? All right. Uh, which one should we open next? We have Megatron. Okay, Megatron. We're going to go with Megatron. Sharp. Yeah, okay. So, Megatron, um, you insert the cube to kill him, and then you put a piece of the cube later into him to bring him back to life. So that's, that's basically his story arc in the films. Uh, this has die cast parts. Insert Allspark cube, which looks like it might be like a paper cutout or something. And then he's got a weapon blaster, articulated hands, and an articulated mouth. No, no neck articulation, legs, elbow joints. He's he just has the articulated mouth. Does he which turn is, into a rocket ship? We're not sure. We're not. We don't really know what he turns into. <clears throat> I think he turns into a rocket ship. Possibly, possibly. Oh, okay. We're. <clears throat> Jury's still out on that one. All right. Oh, it's even this one. That's even bigger than Rita. Yep, this one's bigger than Rita. And what's it? What's his name again? Megatron. Megatron. Yep. All right. That is pretty big. I really like the size of it. Uh, let's see. What is this part? He comes with his um, 
This is, uh, it looks like this is die cast. Yeah, this is part of his mace. I think that's a sword. Yep, that's part of a sword. You, yeah, you go ahead and open that. I don't need the knife to open this. A lot of twist ties on this. This reminds me of when I got Armada Unicron, and there was a lot of twist ties on that, and I spent, like, a good hour untying all those you things. Yes. Oh, good word usage. I want to. I want to help you cut the tape on that one. All right. There you go. It's something. All right. Here we have Megatron. All right. We're gonna save these for later. Um. Oh. I don't know where that. That's. Pr I think that belongs to Ratchet. Uh. Let's see. His feet need to be cut. Oh, his feet are die cast. I think this is what he turns into, but in a bigger. Um, yeah, maybe. Out of all the times I've met Michael Bay, I've never once asked him, hey, what does Megatron turn into? All right. <laughs> yep, yep, we're going to save him for later. They're so messy. Yep. They're very messy. All right, it's got some ratchet joints. Like Rita. Just like Rita. Um, let's see, I think that goes there. Yep. Um, Why does he have um, two nails here and it has three there? Yep, uh, well that's cartoon logic. You know, you're supposed to have, you know, like four toes and three. You know, like less toes and more uh, fingers. Um, like eleven fingers uh, and four toes. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see. It looks like this guy might light up. Yeah, maybe he's got something cube. there. You know, maybe like maybe you put the Allspark cube in there. Maybe it goes right? in the dark if you put the cube. In oh, there. look, he's uh, automorph technology, so he's automatically transforming. All right, look at that. Then where's the knife go? That that is a mace. Oh, uh, like a base. A mace, not a base. A mace. So we have this, and the wings come out here, and then that there, and then we have this here. And I think, this, where does this plug in? I'm just gonna, all right, there we go. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. It looks like a big smile. Yeah. Yep, movie Megatron in jet mode. I think it's jet mode, because he flies. All right, so there it is, movie Megatron. I love it. I'm really happy with this one. Exactly. That's what that's what I've been saying. It's a plane. You don't see it? You don't see the you don't see the, the plane? No. It's a plane. You don't see it? Well we're gonna have to work on your on your vision. I do wanna look at the there's no you know, I thought this would be maybe like an all spark that you cut out and glue together. No, uh, no Allspark all cut out in here, huh? What about the flaps? There's another flap in there. Uh, yeah, the camera. Yeah, the camera. The camera's so bored it wants to leave. Daddy, look. Nothing. So, it says put the Allspark in there. It cut my hand. But it doesn't have an Allspark for you to put in there. Alright. All right. Okay. Well, get a band-aid. <laughs> Alright. Um, what's this guy's name? Starmy? Star? Starry. Star cream? Star cream, yeah, it's star cream. Yep. So it has cream. He yep. likes eating um he likes eating cream and Cream. What does this say? Dark Widow. Dark Widow, yep. It's Starscream, Dark Widow. And this is a uh, Mpem. 
MPEM 10. All right. So let's go ahead and open Star Cream. Well, I think he turns into the spaceship. He does turn into a spaceship. All right. Let's see. So sometimes, well, we, we did cut the tape, right? But sometimes the flap gets stuck, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it just enough. Like that much. Yep. So that we can open it without creasing it. All right. So this one comes in jet mode. Um, I'm thinking it might even be bigger than Megatron. All right, let's go ahead and release him so from his plastic prison. Like. That is what he looks like. I remember the first time I saw a picture of movie Star Cream uh, in a robot mode. I was in Philadelphia at my friend Tony's house. And, uh, different Tony. Mm. And, I uh, we made a phone call. Oh. We, we called our buddy Aaron, and we're like, what the hell is that? That's a bad book to say. Yeah, well, it was appropriate at the time. Well, don't say that. It's rude. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is rude, but it was appropriate at the time. Mm -hmm. All right, so here he is. Right, yep. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and transform him. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, they love they love having plastic feet. They love having plastic feet. Uh, me metal feet, rather. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm, I'm an expert at this, Maddie, so. You're an expert? Yep, I'm an expert. Are you, are you famous on YouTube? Yes, I am. So you're yeah. only famous on YouTube and nothing else? Uh, well, um, that, that depends on who you ask. Can I cut these off? Y you know what? I don't even think we need those. All right, look. Yeah, so it kind of kind of looks like a chicken, like chicken legs. All right? Mm. All right. Yep, looks a little bit like our chickens. <laughs> They're chicken feet. Chicken feet, yep. But really, chickens don't really have the back ones. Here. The, the back toes, yeah. Yeah, you need that to stand up. We only have the front toes. Yep, our chickens only have front toes. Uh, so let's see. Does he make chicken sounds? No, he doesn't make chicken sounds on, on a you know, account of all the ice cream. What does he do? In the, um, movie? in the movie? Oh, he's the uh, main protagonist. Yeah, he's the one that tells uh, the evil plan to everybody, and then um, and then he gets stopped by the good guys uh, through the power of love. Can you watch Bubble Bee tonight? Sure, sure. All right. Well, there we go. I see it in the there's movie. there's stars. Star cream. Oh, hi, everybody. That's what he sounds like in the movie. Can you open this? I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to right now. And you can put, like, a baby inside. That's right. We can put a, we this can put a baby inside a of him. A baby transformer. A baby, that's, that's who pilots the, the plane, they, baby transformers. Do they even have baby transformers? Yes, they have baby transformers, just like Mommy and Daddy had you and Casey. Transformers do the same thing. Mommy transformers. Yeah, there's, there's yeah, all of that. that. There's all of that in the movies. And I'm a transformer baby. Right, right. None of it makes sense, but it's it's in the movie. And Nona is a transformer yep. girl. That is, yeah. All right, well, there there we go, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to, to cut the tape. We've got Star Cream. Uh, we, we've got uh, Megatron and Rita. Wouldn't it be and, funny? And... They they <laughs> did do that in one of the movies. All right, thank you so much for cutting the tape with us. Uh, wash your hands, wear masks, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.